PCI Gen 4 system. And this is running the upcoming 3D Mark PCI Express feature test, which is designed to answer the question, how much extra graphics performance can you get from PCI Gen 4 versus Gen 3? And the answer is clear, and it's large. Up to 69% more performance for graphics from having PCI Gen 4, which is the only thing that you need. And we're running at about 25 frames per second on the AMD system and about 14 frames per second on the, the Intel system. And this is just a really great demonstration of what Gen 4 can do for gamers, and you think about how that might help games in the future. Fantastic. Robert, thanks so much. Thank you so much. R20 running, and I was thinking back to my time as a reviewer, looking at AMD's K7 and K8 architectures a long time ago, and we used Cinebench for over 15 years to reliably and quickly test the performance of a processor, and now we're on Cinebench R20, which came out just last month. And what you'll see on your right is the Ryzen 7 3700X versus, on the left, the Core i7-9700K. And as we churn through this realistic ray trace scene, you may notice that the Ryzen 7 3700X is uh, quite a bit faster. In fact, it's about one-third faster than the competing part. And that's really a testament to the compute performance of Zen 2 and the density that the 7 nanometer Zen 2 architecture brings to a chip. Fantastic. And uh, it, it's just a monster performance. And I think if content creators really, really want something special, that's just 65 watts, this is a beautiful, beautiful part. Uh, our competitor is still going. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 We're done. Almost there. Almost. Almost. <laughs> okay. It takes a little while. All right, there we are. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Ryzen 7 3800X, both of them eight cores, 16 threads, and the great thing about it is this beautiful PUBG demo that we built and recorded to reliably test the performance of this game. This is a tough game to benchmark, but we've done it, and what you'll see is that both processors are about the same, and in fact, that's ideal. I know as a gamer that I want a processor that gives so much performance to the GPU that it's out of the way. I don't even have to worry about the fact that my GPU is being bottlenecked by the processor. So the Ryzen 7 3800X, if you are looking for a chip that gives you the performance you need for those high-end GPUs, this is it. It's the best game in town. And if you add in all the other technologies, Lisa, like Gen 4 and 7 nanometer, it's the only choice. Fantastic. All right. Gen 4 against Intel's HEDT socket. This is a $1,200 processor on the left versus the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X on your right. And we're running Blender which is trusted by many content creators to evaluate 3D rendering performance. And it's just a really great content creation tool. And what you see from every box is a processing thread. And as we come to the finish, the difference is clear. We finished in about 32 seconds versus the competitor's 38 seconds. And that's about an 18% performance improvement for AMD. And we're going four to four, 12 versus 12, which means then two is simply faster. Fantastic!